everyone and good morning well it's morning where i am so good afternoon good evening happy monday tuesday whatever day it is if you guys are watching this on the day that i am uploading this video happy earth day make sure you're taking care of our precious earth our little home i don't know if you guys seen the videos lately of animals walking around cities because there's nobody there the other day i was watching a video about a bear walking around doing its own thing and Monterey thought, oh, that's so interesting. All the animals are starting to come out now. So happy Earth Day. And for this week's video, I decided to do almost like a part two of my splits. And today I'm gonna to show you guys how I was able to get into my left and right side splits and show you guys some tips and tricks on what I did to get there. Also, I want you guys to remember that this process does take time. You have to stretch consistently. That's either stretching every day or almost every day to get into that deep stretch because stretching is hard and you don't want to overdo it and you don't want to pull your groin, your hamstring, your quads, calf, hurt your hip flexors just because you're trying to do a move that your body just isn't ready to do yet. You have to let your body to become comfortable and to be able to adapt into that deeper stretch. And once you've taken the time to go through the progress, because I personally believe the progress is worth more than the final moment, of course the final moment will be amazing because then you would have achieved your goal and you've stayed determined, but it's learning throughout that progress, seeing what your body is capable of doing. What is your body like? You're learning who you are. And I'm just excited to go through my tips and tricks to share with you guys. Also, I want to let you guys know that my left split is prettier than my right split. I've had my left split for years now and my right split, I just hit it a couple weeks ago and I'm at the stage where I hit it every now and then and I'm not able to fully, like if I were to be in my right split right now, I wouldn't be able to be sitting on the ground for that long compared to my left split or compared to my middle split. So I just want to put that out there that it does take time. Lexi found a bug in the other window. It does take time and you will see a difference between flexibility on each side. So enough talk, let's get started. So the moves that I'm going to be showing you guys can be used for both sides. I would recommend that you use them for both sides, but determining how deep you should go and how far you should allow your body to get into the poses are unique for you as they're unique for me and they're unique for each side of the body so what you can do on the left side maybe might not be the same as what you can do on the right side however for me personally i believe that the goal is to try and get them to be as equal as possible if one side's a little more tighter than the other don't overdo it but for me that's a reminder that i should still be practicing on the tighter side a little bit more just because that side needs a little bit more attention compared to the side that already has the flexibility that I'm looking for. So for the first move that I want to show you guys that I highly recommend is pigeon. And what pigeon is, is we'll take our front foot, bring our knee. So we're having this not a parallel line to the mat, but a little bit of a downward angle, making sure that our foot is flexed. That way, we're, that way we won't cause any of our knee joints to be in pain. And then just fall forward. That way we're just allowing our body to feel relaxed and stretched out and having that familiarity with your quad being on the mat, because maybe this is your first time doing the splits or trying to do the splits and your body isn't used to that feeling of how your splits are supposed to be. And then we'll do it on our right side. Remember, slight downward angle with your chin, front foot is flexed. And I would do all these moves for 10 to 20 breaths or whatever you feel like is comfortable, whatever you feel like you need to do. And you don't have to do all of these poses in one day, you can change it up a bit. But the goal is to just stay consistent with your stretching, allowing your body to lengthen a little bit each day. 
The second move I'm gonna show you guys will be low lunge. I never really took advantage of low lunge when I first started learning how to do the splits. I started taking advantage of low lunge later on in my practice solely because I needed to find different moves that would help me get into my right splits because what I was doing wasn't working for the right side of my body, but it was working for my left. So I just had to change it up a bit and I felt that low lunge helped. So to do low lunge, untuck your toes, bring your left foot forward, making sure that your knee is not above your ankle, meaning like this, this isn't good, just because we're gonna be in these stretches for a long time. You don't wanna cause any, any unnecessary damage or painful feelings. And then it's going like this, bringing your chest, your hips forward. If you want to, you can bring your arms up and get a slight back bend. That way you're gonna be hitting two birds with one stone. Not only are you working on your flexibility, but you're working on your back flexibility as well. And when you do that, if you choose to keep your arms up, make sure that your shoulders are away from your ears. Okay, let's go into our right side. Remember, knee is not on top of ankle or above ankle. It's behind the ankle and just hands on your hips if you want, and push forward, push your hips forward. Nice, good job. The third move, we're going to do lizard, and lizard can be challenging. I know that lizard was challenging for me for a while, just because I don't have the greatest hip flexibility in general when I first started out. But now that I've been practicing lizard almost every day and allowing my body to just slowly get into that pose, I've been able to watch myself get deeper into the stretch. And that's, again, all we're trying to do is watch our bodies progress, trying to achieve new poses that we wouldn't have originally tried to achieve if we didn't think our bodies were capable of. So the way to do lizard is we'll bring our left foot out to the edge of the mat, knee directly on top of ankle. Then we will tuck our toes and put our hands inside our foot. And that's it, this is lizard. If you wanna get a little bit more intense with the stretch, then drop down to your forearm, but do what your body is capable of doing. Don't overdo it. Now let's go on the right side. Again, knee on top of ankle. And then if you can, go to your forearms, go to your forearms. If not, that's totally okay. Okay, the next pose that I'm going to show you guys will be half split. And this pose can be a little bit challenging for people. It does take a lot of, in my mind, endurance to hold it for a little bit longer, just because this is the pose that would be the transition into going to your splits. So you are stopping halfway. That's why I feel like it's a little bit challenging for some people, so take your time, don't overdo it. And the way to do half split is we can get into our low lunge position and then scoot our foot forward where we're having a straight leg. And the goal of this pose is to have a straight leg, don't hunch your back, bringing chest to quad if you can, and just allowing your body to move gently and smoothly. Inhale to help you guys get into a straight back. Exhale as you allow yourself to fold forward. And right here is your half split. This is really gonna help you guys, I believe, because it's a transition into getting your splits. This is what you would be doing because if you were going to be doing your whole split, so here's half split, and then here's split. See, that's just a transition into getting to your full split which is why I believe it's very beneficial, but yet that's why it hurts so much. And then let me just go on the right side to show you guys. Bring your foot forward. 
inhale, lengthen your back. Exhale, forward fold. Just like that. So that's another move that I highly recommend for you guys to do. For my last stretch that I recommend for you guys to do, it's just a simple forward fold. And this stretch will just help you guys stretch out the hamstrings, stretch out the hips and the lower back, just allowing you to touch the areas that aren't commonly focused on a lot, I feel like, because when I first started my fitness journey and my yoga journey, I never really prioritized my hamstrings or my back or my hips, like target my back when I'd be doing some lifting movements, but it wasn't prioritizing. So this stretch really helps to get all of those, I would say, untouched areas. So inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, forward fold. And again, the goal for this as well is to have a straight back and straight legs. But if you can't keep your legs straight, that's fine. If you have to bend your knees, that's totally okay. Because what's more important is a straight back than straight legs. You don't want to be hunched over like this. Because even doing this, I could feel a little bit of shoulder pain so that's not safe and that's not going to help you progress either if you're cutting yourself short with these stretching movements before i show you guys my splits i just want to show you one bonus move if you guys are able to do it i'd recommend it if not it's no big deal it's not like it's going to elongate your splits journey any longer so what i would do is i would get into a low lunge i don't really know the name of this pose but that's okay. Get into a low lunge and then just bring your back foot up. And this will just help bring a deeper, whoa, stretch into your quads and help with balance as well. And then we'll go on to the other side. See, I caught myself. Make sure your knee is not above your ankle just to help stretch out your quads a little bit. Same with pigeon. If you want to do that type of stretch in pigeon, because I just did that in low lunge, just bring your leg back. But please be careful when you're doing this in pigeon, because it could be a little bit difficult to bring your back leg up. And don't overdo it. Like I said, if you can't go into these deep stretches, that's okay. It's not going to hurt your path into getting the splits. If you can, it just helps a little bit with your quad stretch, I guess. And plus this could be something fun to try and get out of your splits journey too. It's seeing if you can do those four because I did it, I did it once on each side with two poses. So see if you could just get those four type of deeper stretches to help you, especially with everyday stretching too, because a good quad stretch is always worth it in my opinion. Now, finally, I'm gonna show you guys my splits. And like I said, my left split is prettier than my right split. So if you see my right split, if I end up not even hitting the right split, that's okay. Because that means I just need to work on it more and have more progress towards it. So we can also think of this as a progress video too, seeing that even the people you look up to in the fitness world still aiming to achieve their goals that they have in mind that maybe you can do, but they can't. And that's okay. We're all striving to do something and get somewhere and become better versions of ourselves. That's just the end goal in my opinion. So here I am in my left foot. Ta-da! Okay, and then here I am in my right split. I really don't know what my right split's gonna look like today, but that's okay. The goal is to breathe and believe and see what happens. 
I'm a little stuck. Okay, I guess I'm not gonna hit it today, but that is okay. That just shows me that today's not a right split kind of day. And that is good for you guys to see that too, is that every day you're gonna hit a move. And if you do, great job. That doesn't mean you have to stop practicing. And that's really why I wanted to film this video. Even though I can consistently hit my left split more, doesn't mean that I can show you guys the moves that I've been using and trying to hit both splits equally. I have been able to hit the right split in the past, but like I said today, today's not a right split and that's okay. I just have to stretch a little bit more and focus a little bit harder. And thank you guys all for watching. If you wanna do these tips, I'll definitely post them on my Instagram as well later on. My Instagram is at stuff Gina does. And thank you guys all for watching. And if you guys wanna learn how to do your middle splits, I'll put a link down in the description box because I did film a video on how to do that. And thank you for the support on that video as well. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Be happy, stay healthy, and remember it's about the progress, not the end result. We are all created differently and we all have unique aspects that we can provide. We can all learn to use as strength and whatever we consider as weaknesses can help us become a better individual as well. I'll see you guys later. Bye.